I like to focus on five robust sources for donor information, many of which are available to everyone via the web. Foundation por portfolios, online charity evaluators, articles and blogs, experts, and lastly, the nonprofits themselves. One, foundations. Foundations, especially most with large endowments, have diverse staffs, rigorous evaluation processes, as well as competitive grant making cycles. With the continued push for greater philanthropic transparency, foundations have begun to put more and more information on their websites. Online, you can find out which of these foundations are working in particular areas that you are interested in and which nonprofits these foundations are funding. You can download their research, see their theories of change, read about which intervention strategies they're investing in, as well as which nonprofit programs, products, and services are proving most effective. This is great information to fuel your own giving decisions as well as to share with others. Looking at a foundation's portfolio will also tell you about the diversity of organizations that are available to receive funding from you or from others. Foundations are a great first research step because of the systems-wide vantage point that they uniquely inhabit. Number two, online nonprofit evaluators. These assessment resources enable any individual to learn about and compare nonprofits across a spectrum of issues. First, we must assess the assessors and the various criteria that each uses to measure or rank nonprofits. So ask yourself, is this criteria based on qualitative or quantitative information? Is the evaluator merely looking at the financial costs of running an organization, or are they examining things like programmatic and overhead costs as it relates to impact and effectiveness? Once you've familiarized yourself with the nonprofit evaluator's criteria, Dive in and explore the resource more broadly. In order to increase your comfort level with these evaluators, I will give you a quick overview of three in no particular order. Right now, Great Nonprofits, Philanthropedia, and Charity Navigator. The first, Great Nonprofits, is like a Yelp for nonprofits. People who have interacted with a nonprofit, either as donors or volunteers, can post reviews and ratings, which are then aggregated. Individuals can search through the reviews and filter for things like rating and issue area. Philanthropedia, though now a division of GuideStar, does independent research on the impact of nonprofits. They survey industry professionals, directors, foundation program officers, and researchers about specific nonprofits. Philanthropedia aggregates these results and posts them on their website. The data Philanthropedia provides is similar to great nonprofits, but the information is coming from several leaders who have different and perhaps more objective perspectives than the individuals who might be serving as volunteers or donors. And finally, Charity Navigator evaluates nonprofits across two broad areas. One, financial health, and two, transparency and accountability. This information is derived from the Form 990, as well as the respective organization's website. Each charity has a page where you can view all of this data at once, as well as compare it to similar organizations. Collectively, these three assessment tools, Great Nonprofits, Philanthropedia, and Charity Navigator, can arm philanthropists like you and me with a lot of great information. That said, I always consult additional sources for nonprofit knowledge as well, and I encourage you to do the exact same thing. 
Our third resource, blogs and online articles. Consuming media about nonprofits, philanthropy in the social sector has never been easier thanks to an endless, and I mean endless, supply of blogs and online articles. Be careful when you're going through this mass of media to ensure that any blogger or individual reporting on a particular issue has a background that justifies them having an expert opinion. I would also recommend setting up a Google Alert for the issues or intervention strategies that interest you most. Through Google Alerts, you can select key terms such as animal rights, leukemia research, or watershed protection, and receive daily or weekly notifications of the appearance of these words in blogs and news stories across the web. Like any search, the more specific your searches are, the better information flow you will have to inform your giving. Our fourth resource, experts. In addition to online resources, there are infinite opportunities to connect with and learn from individuals with unique expertise and perspectives on the causes that you care about. Look for organizations in your community that are focused on civic engagement and volunteering and jump right in to help with service activities that can deepen your understanding of the specific social needs that are surrounding you. Here you might find like-minded individuals who are excited to improve our global community through giving circles direct service, or attending educational events hosted by local nonprofits or universities. There are always opportunities to coordinate online through websites like meetup.com and Eventbrite. These same resources can be used to identify various experts in the space who often write blogs or articles, speak at conferences, or serve on panels. While initially it might be appropriate to engage with these thought leaders via material that they have published, don't forget that through the world of social media, particularly on Twitter, it has never been easier to begin a conversation with a philanthropic expert. Number five, nonprofits. Finally, some nonprofits educate givers about the broader landscape surrounding the problems that they are working to solve. Working daily with the people that they serve and the network of players that influence their work, nonprofit leaders are insightful experts to learn from. Though it is important to remember to not overtax them with information requests or take them away from their critical work. One rule of thumb that I always follow in my philanthropy, unless you are going to make a gift that is significant both to the nonprofit as well as to yourself, I would request time from a nonprofit's volunteers instead of its staff. A key attribute of any successful philanthropist is listening. Nonprofits, in partnership with the people that they serve, are the individuals and organizations who know the best what it is that they need. We as givers cannot oppose, impose our own thoughts upon them. To the extent that you can, ask the nonprofits working in your social issue what it is they need to be successful. If possible, try to better understand what the end beneficiaries find to be their most pressing challenges and how they believe they personally can overcome them. If personal contact is not an option, look for resources, videos, stories, posts, etc. shared by the people whose lives you directly or indirectly aim to help. Seek their voices and opinions on what it is they need to be successful. Now that you have begun to learn about theory of change, intervention strategies, and research methods, I would like you to use these tools to research your own social issue. 
Start with broader research on your target issue, then dive into the resources that we just discussed. Foundation portfolios, online charity evaluators, reading blogs and articles, talking to experts, and receiving invaluable nonprofit perspectives. As you move through these resources, begin a list of nonprofits as well as their intervention strategies.